this and today I will be showing you guys an updated version of my PlayStation 4 game collection and the first one Need for Speed Rivals it's a really good racing game it's one of the first games that came out on the PlayStation 4 um, and the second one is Call of Duty Ghosts I don't like Call of Duty Ghosts at all the maps are terrible the multiplayer is terrible the storyline is terrible I just don't like Call of Duty Ghosts the third one's Killzone Shadowfall, a really good shooter game, really good multiplayer, really good multiplayer modes. Um, I've completed the campaign, can't really remember much about it, cause I can't. I completed the game, like in the second month that the game came out. So yeah, and the fourth one is Assassin's Creed Four Black Flag, a really good game. Um. It's not as good as the other Assassin's Creed, because personally my favourite Assassin's Creed is Assassin's Creed 2, maybe Revelations. I know I said on um, Assassin's Creed Unity review that another Assassin's Creed was my favourite, but I went back to Assassin's Creed 2 and I liked, I really enjoyed it. I replayed some of the missions and I found it really interesting because I never really took much notice of the detail in the game and it's really good. So yeah the fifth one is Knack again one of the first games that came out on the PS4 but a really good game I recommend um, like young young people um, to get this game because it's a really good cartoon game well, cartoony game. So, yeah, and next is Injustice Gods Among Us. I have the Ultimate Edition. Um, really good fighting game. I didn't get this on release. Uh, so, yeah. The next one's Watch Dogs. Very glitchy, but still really good storyline. You play as Aiden Pierce. Really good game. Next one is Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. Really good game. Um, it's not the best Transformers I've played, but still, really good game. I don't know why on this one they took the multiplayer out, but still the escalation, I suppose, is one of the best features. So, yeah, and the next one's Battlefield 4. And this is another game that I didn't get on release. Um, personally, I think this is the best Battlefield, because Battlefield Hardline Beta has just come out um and i don't really like like you, you have cops and you have technically like cops and robbers so i don't really like the theme of that i like i just like the normal battlefield you know battlefield mode i suppose if that's what you want to call it so the next one is tomb raider i have the well obviously the definitive edition everyone does if they have this game um, a really good game. The graphics are absolutely amazing, guys. So if you're looking for detail on games, then I highly re recommend to go and get this game if you haven't already. Next one is The Last of Us Remastered. Really good game. Uh, I was going to do gameplay, but then somehow my game glitched out and now I can't do multiplayer. Says I haven't purchased the map, the maps for it. When I have, it is free, um, but it's saying I haven't purchased them and I have and I can't repurchase them. So, yeah. Um, and the next one is FIFA 15. And the best FIFA going, I think. I will do a video tomorrow instead of a little bit of Planet 3 because if you guys don't know, I did cancel that series because I didn't have time to do it and I wasn't well for like, two weeks and then I went on holiday and then yeah I, I, so that's why I cancelled it so instead I'll just be doing one-off videos on Wednesday I won't I, I don't know if I will record every Wednesday but let's just see um I will do a video on Wednesday like I've already said on FIFA of my updated FIFA 15 ultimate team I'll only give you a hint as what it's going to be about. Um, well, it's not really a hint, but I do have Inform Cabela 
um, and Man of the Match, Bonnie, Wilfred Bonnie. So yeah, and the next one is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Have the Day Zero edition. Really good game, and um, one of the best Call of Duty going, going, but not as good as Call of Duty Black Ops Two. I really like Call of Duty Black Ops Two, but. Still, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is an amazing game, and especially with um, Exo Zombies coming, Havoc um, coming soon on the PS4. I do know that's already out on Xbox. And the next is my favourite game so far on PS4, The Crew. It is an amazing game, amazing racer game. I did do a review, one or two videos on it, a review being one of them. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't already and if you like racing games, definitely go and get the this game. Um, you get to explore the whole of America, a really good variety of cars. I currently have the fastest car in the game, the Coenzeg Aguera. Uh, so yeah, and the next one is Drive Club. A good racing game, but definitely nowhere near as good as the crew. Um, I didn't get this game on release, as you can see, because... Um, these games are like basically in order maybe a bit off because i can't exactly remember but basically in order so yeah uh drive club good racing game but not as good as the crew no in here next for cry 4 really good game um i don't really know what to say about it because i haven't I'm nowhere near to complete. I'm like a quarter done, if that. Um, so I'm not going to really talk about it. I did. I was going to do a review, but I thought not because I don't really know much about the game apart from he plays RJ and there's two characters where you have to choose from a meter and what his name. Um. I can't remember his name. Um, I'll check after. I'll put it in the description. Um, what his name is. Uh, so yeah, and the next one is Little Big Planet Three. I didn't get this on release. Got it for Christmas, but close enough release. So yeah, really good uh, Little Big Planet game, but not the best Little Big Planet for me. I think Little Big Planet Two was the best. Uh, I done a review on the game. Really, um, got really good storyline. I've gone past the first chapter, if that's what I should be calling it. I've gone past the first chapter, um, and the next one is Sniper Elite Three. A really good sniper game. It's so tense the multiplayer. Multiplayer is by far the best thing on the on the game. But the survivalist mode what the game and lemon done because my favorite well one of my favorite youtubers is the game and lemon uh the survivalist mode is good feature as well but the multiplayer is just so tense uh so yeah and the next one is assassin's creed unity really good assassin's creed game very glitchy on weekends um i don't know why it's glitchy on weekends it just is uh for me anyways Really good storyline, really glitchy, uh, excellent co-op feature, that is also glitchy, there's there's a glitch where you, you, um, friends on the co-op feature can't attack, it gets quite annoying because you will die, uh, so yeah, and the next one is Destiny, I've done a review on it, uh, so go and check that out if you haven't already, really good game. I haven't played it that much. Um, the last time I played it was around four weeks ago. Not even that, maybe three and a half weeks. So yeah, the next one is WWA 2K15. I done a video yesterday on this game. It's a really good game, really good wrestling game. So yeah, and the next one is Trials Fusion. Really good um, biking game. Uh, it's one of the best biking games by far. I don't, I haven't really played many biking games, but still, it's a really good game. 
And the next one is Wolfenstein The New Order. I done an unboxing yesterday because I only got this game yesterday. I got it nowhere near release. Uh, I only picked it up for £16, I believe. Yeah, £16. It's a really good game. I started to play it, done the first mission. I actually, no, I've gone past where you have to mount these two turrets and shoot a few enemies. You also have to shoot the cliff so you can regroup with your allies. Um, really good game. So, yeah. Right, guys. So, that was my PlayStation 4 game collection updated. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Game and Lion. Over and out. Bye, guys.